Hey everybody, Chris here, coming to show you some more uh, yard sale, thrift store finds. I uh, got a pretty good amount of stuff. I think it's been about a week and a half since the last video, maybe two weeks. And uh, yeah, I managed to get to some yard sales. Uh, I didn't do too much thrifting, but I uh, did manage to come out with a lot of stuff. So let's just uh, get into it. Let's start over here. Uh, down there I got a Sony VCR. I haven't picked up one of those in a while. Uh, it's the same model I usually sell. I think I've sold five or six of these. Uh, it's probably the second time it's come with a remote. Probably get about 80 bucks for that. Um, minus shipping and fees. Uh, on top of that, it's a sealed copy of Friends Seen It. I think used they go for about 25 I think new. I think like 40 to 60 somewhere in there. I can't quite remember. I uh, found a great batch of old Avalon Hill games at two different savers. Start uh, start here. The Pay Dirt, it's a 1990 edition, uh, sealed in shrink wrap. Uh, still has a bunch of original price stickers and stuff. Um, hoping to get like 100, but uh, who knows? Uh, not too many completed on that, so I'm not really sure. Got a Chill, uh, this is an RPG. I'm going to say there's like a bunch of comics and books and stuff about this as well. Uh, $3.99. I think this whole stack, every game is $3.99, but I had a 30% off coupon. Um, hopefully get a, uh, 50 to 100 somewhere in there. Got a Rise and Decline of the Third Reich. Uh, this is already sold for, I think, 40 um, Took forever to inventory. Um, Russian Front. Uh, there's another one I think that's already sold for like 45 uh, Another one took me forever to count. And then uh, the rest of these were all unpunched pretty much. Uh, maybe one or two uh, came up. But yeah, Kremlin. Uh, this one, um, looking about 80, 100 I think, in the condition it's in. Uh, 1830. Um, I think it's closer to 40, 50. Um, Air Baron. Uh, this is also unpunched. Anywhere from like 20 to 60 I think. Um, I did all these at the same time so the prices might be a little a little wonky. And then uh, Diplomacy, this is the like 70's version that has wooden pieces instead of plastic. Um, it was missing a couple pieces but um, I, sh I think I should still, still be able to get about 40 for it. Uh, coming over here got a bunch of CD players and cassette players. Um, picked up a GPX, uh, not on purpose. I think it was in a bag with this one. Um, I don't expect to get money for this at all. Probably will throw it away. Um, but the rest of these uh, is about fifteen twenty on this. Um, I don't really remember that one. Uh, I think this is about twenty to forty. Got. Um, I think I got a few more of these uh, voice recorders, but they already sold. This one's about uh, thirty to forty. I think on this one. Um, this is, I think, the best-selling one currently on Amazon. Uh, this was nice to find. Um, that one goes for about 45 to 50 um, Another, usually the colored ones like this are the most expensive, but I think this is, um, there's a lot of supply of this online. So that goes for about, uh, about only 15 to 20 uh, And then just a couple other ones. Um. You know, Thirty to fifty dollar range. Uh, I got a big screen free cell uh, sealed. Um, now I know that uh, big screen solitaire those usually sell for a decent amount. Uh, this looks like it go for over a hundred dollars, but it also could not sell at all. Um, I'll find out. Uh, I got a nice iPod uh, Shuffle Gen One. Uh, is open. I think th the past three I found were all sealed. This is the first time I found it open. Uh, you know, works fine. Should get about 30 to 40, I think, on that. Uh, a nice HP calculator. Uh, should get about $20 for that. I paid only a dollar. I got a Battle Masters game. This was actually a Goodwill outlet. Uh, I actually dug and dug and dug and picked out not very much of the game. It's missing most of it. But uh, it's a pretty rare game. I think complete, I think it's over $100. I'm hoping to get about 10 to $30 for what I did pull out of it. Uh, under that, got a, uh, is a Bose Acoustic Wave radio. Uh, I was actually in line at Goodwill. 
when they um when they came with this out of the back it works fine except for the tape player on top uh, when you press play it just doesn't doesn't play uh, but uh, it's decent condition overall I think I think when you find one of these complete with the bag and the remote I think there's a pedestal it can go upwards of like four or five hundred bucks I'm hoping to get anywhere from like 50 to 200 in the condition it's in. Well, again, we'll find out. Uh, this is the first time I've picked up one of those. I've got a nice collection of Polaroid cameras here. I didn't pay too much for any of them except for this one. This is a Polaroid SLR 680. Um, this is, I think, the first time I've had one of these. Uh, these can go for a pretty good amount. I paid 65 at an antique store. I believe, uh, I believe I could get upwards of 300, probably closer to 152, and then just some of the some of the usual, a nice uh, Silver Express, which has gone down a bit, but still about 40, 50 bucks on that. Um, another Polaroid one, I think there was one in the video last week. Um, but, you know, in general, Polaroid's good to find, but I have found that lately they're not selling as fast. Uh, I think it's definitely Definitely a Christmas item that can occasionally have some sales throughout the year. Uh, back over to here, I got a couple of these Namco um, joystick plug-and-play games. Uh, this one I've been consistently selling for about 40 bucks. This one's only about 25 to 30. Got a couple of the uh, vintage collection board games. Uh, Stratego and Jenga. Neither of them had instructions. Stratego, I think, was... 270 with the discount at Goodwill and Jenga was 399 at Savers. Jenga I think goes for about 60 Stratego's. Uh, I haven't. I think I have a few copies of it. It hasn't sold in a while, so um, I don't think I can accurately put a price on it right now. But was selling them for about 40. Um, and then just right there is a Tower of Hero Escape. I paid like 70 dollars. I got something else. Uh, I think a card game or two. So, probably came to like 65, but um, two master sets, the the one on the bottom, Rise of the Valkyrie, that should be about 80 to 90, and uh, maybe more, it is the first edition one, the first edition sometimes can go for more. And then on top, Swarm of the Marrow, that's gone up quite a bit, uh, I think I could possibly get about 150 for it, and then on top of that's uh, an expansion. Um, which actually I got two complete ones, but only one of them came with a box and then uh, just a bunch more figures and This isn't even all of them cards. Uh, I think it came with seven more complete expansions So all together should get me about 500 uh, I'm not re I don't really remember the specific uh, expansions, but none of them were like the best ones uh, but yeah, I was, was really surprised to find that. Uh, the problem with it was that it was all spread out between the two boxes, or the three boxes, and three bags. So essentially, I, I couldn't just pick and choose which ones I want. I had to buy it all, um, which is a, a little annoying, but um, worth it in the end, I guess. Uh, I'll go back there. Got Wise and Otherwise. That used to sell decently for about 30 it's gone down in price a bit. Um, probably FBA it. Then two Star Wars games, Stratego and Monopoly. I think Stratego is going for about 30 and that Monopoly is going for about 40 Yeah, probably also just send those into FBA. Uh, come up here. You got uh, was Goodwill had tons of PC games in box. I only gra managed to grab two. Most of them weren't anything great. Got Steel Panthers 3. Um, an SSI game, or I, usually the SSI games go for a decent amount. Uh, usually the PlayStation versions, but I, I, I couldn't find much on this one. Uh, you know, at least 15, I would guess. I'm hoping for 30. We'll find out. And then I got Tomb Raider 2 Gold. Um, this is another one that's probably about 30. Um, come down here. Under, under that game is a couple PlayStation 2s. I got a Slim. And uh, regular, the Slims are still selling for over eighty dollars for me. Pretty happy to find another one. It's only twelve ninety nine. And the PlayStation Two next. I actually got a PlayStation Two, a GameCube, and a Game Boy Advance uh, for ten bucks. Yard sale. Came with a few games. 
Game Boy Advance SP is gone. GameCube's gone. I expect the PS2 to be gone soon as well. I'll show you the games I got with that. I also came with uh, one of these link cables, which, uh, you know, in general, these go for about 10, 15 bucks. Next to that is a game called Henry. Um, I think I knew a kid that had one of these as a kid. Um, they can they go from anywhere for, from 30 to 50 bucks online. I think I paid 3.99. Um, let's see, then I got uh, another. I got Sega Genesis. I usually don't buy these because they don't really sell. I did actually sell one this week for I think thirty four dollars. It was a system, one controller, and two cables. Um, not really, not really worth it picking up. But I paid fifteen bucks. Came with Sonic two and a couple other games. I'll show you in a minute. And then uh, and another yard sale. I paid twenty bucks for uh, these two Sega Genesis and a PlayStation one or PS1. Didn't come with any cables. I think it came with one controller. The PS1, it, when it's complete, uh, it's selling for about $45 consistently, which is a little strange, but... And then, um, you know, hopefully I'll get 30 to 40 for those Segas eventually. And then last, uh, we'll come to the stack of games. Uh, I got Pokemon Snap at Savers. is four ninety nine. It's about 12 bucks. Uh, I got Frogger 2 Sealed for PC. Um, could be 50, could be like 10. Um, got Pac-Man Adventures in Time. Also sealed, this is at Savers and it's $1.99. I'd never heard of this, but, um, you know, 20 to 30, hopefully. I uh, got a copy of Diablo, which, you know, I usually sell for about 10, 12 bucks. Uh, Fantasy Zone 2 for the Master System. I actually found a ton of Master System games, a ton of Game Boy, a ton of ton of original Nintendo games at Savers, but I think I had just arrived after somebody else had picked through it. I had managed to get this out of it. This is $7.99. I think I might have used a 30% off coupon. Um, hopefully get about $25.30 for it, I think. These came with uh, that Sega. So this is actually empty. Cyberball. Um, got Taz. Uh, Escape from Mars is only about 2 to $3 game. Uh, this actually got Savers. $3.99, I think. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, it's complete, uh, hopefully about 15 20 for a complete copy. Strider, that came with the Genesis. This is the main reason I bought it. Uh, I think this is about a $15 game on its own. Um, I've had the Master System copy for like forever that it hasn't sold. I'm hoping this will sell faster since Genesis was a more popular system. Uh, I got Mel B, uh, I don't know, training or something. Uh, I've just been buying fitness games for PS3 to work out and get trophies. This was a surprising find. Wii U games, I, I've yet to really find decent uh, current gen games at a thrift store. Um, but this was, uh, this was great. I found, so I got Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, Mario Party 10, and Black Ops 2. These two were $10 and this one was 15 I had a 30% off coupon. And then uh, this actually made me end up buying a Wii U on um, Amazon. Uh, so I'm going to keep these two games and then I'll get rid of Black Ops because I already have it for PS3. Uh, let's see, I got Bloody Roar, uh, Primal Fury, I think this was Goodwill for 3 bucks. Um, I think these are the games that came with the GameCube, PS2, Game Boy Lot. So From Russia With Love, Madden 2002, All-Star Baseball 2002, and Super Busta Move. And, uh, that's it. That was everything. Pretty good week. Uh... I actually haven't gone thrifting too much this week. Some of that stuff was from Tuesday, so I don't have, uh, I don't know how much is going to be in the video for next week. It might be another week and a half to two weeks, uh, unless yard sales are great this weekend, but it does look like it's going to snow, so it looks like winter might be back, might slow me down, I'm not really sure. So anyway, like, subscribe, comment, share, if you have any questions about anything, uh, feel free to ask. Um, if you're not sure if the prices I'm giving you are correct, just look it up on Amazon, because, uh, just about all of them are pretty close. So, uh, anyway, uh, hopefully see everybody next 